guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impressions video for you all. It's going to be on a foundation which has been reformulated or they claim to be reformulated. Um, if you guys have been watching me for a while now, you will know that I absolutely adore the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, they have since taken that away and they've reformulated it with the Makeup Forever HD Ultra foundation or Ultra HD foundation. This is what the box looks like. I bought mine in the exact same shade that I have um, in the Makeup Forever HD. Um, the good thing is they've actually told you, so for example, I use the shade 123 in the HD. Um, they've actually got 123 and that's equivalent to their new numbering system being Y365. Okay, so on the box it says, created for the very latest high definition technologies of the film and TV industry, Ultra HD advanced formulas look invisible on 4K camera and the naked eye. Perfect for the makeup pros and for you. Uh, Ultra HD foundation feels like a second skin but still provides medium coverage and the light diffusing formula looks natural and makes the skin look flawless and feel moisturized. Exclusive 4K, 4K complex Guarantees invisible, natural, and comfortable makeup. The fluid texture blends in seamlessly and conceals imperfections to unify skin's texture. Great for all skin types and features a full range of shades to cover all skin tones. Also, I didn't fake tear my hands, so don't judge. Okay? <laughs> so this pump here, the that one, that is one full-size pump. If you're curious, points for having a pump. Good work, Makeup Forever. Um, I'm going to start applying it to one side of my face and then we'll compare it to the other side. I like how the pump size wasn't too big. I used about a pump and a half and that's how much is on my face at the moment. I'm just going to blend that in with a flat top brush. The tone looks weird. Oh well. It does blend in really, really nicely. It's just a bummer that it is a lot lighter than my fake tan. Um, overall, I am quite impressed with the coverage. It's very, very similar to the normal HD um, in terms of coverage. Um, doesn't emphasize the pores, doesn't reduce the size either. It's just a nice kind of standard foundation. Um, that, pro to me personally, provides medium full coverage just because I don't really have that many imperfections. Like I do have redness and stuff compared to this side, but like it's, basically covered everything that it needs to cover. So I'm just going to do the other side of my face. It goes on very, very similar to the old one as well, if you're curious. Um, and the old one went on so nicely, so that's always a nice addition. What am I even saying? <laughs> Blend super easy, and I do feel like I have a lot of play time to actually get this blended in. Like, it's not one of those foundations where I dob it on my face and I have to blend it in frantically straight away. Coverage, super, super happy. It doesn't look very matte, but it doesn't look overly dewy either. It's just like a healthy skin look, which I personally enjoy. Um, yeah, pores aren't emphasized, but they aren't hidden either. It hasn't sunk into my smile lines, but it, then again, hasn't been that long. Um, blended nicely, so, so far, so good. Um, I haven't put on a primer or anything like that, I just use my normal everyday skincare. Um, so it is currently 10.22, so a little bit later than normal, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll probably be back in like an hour. <laughs> so I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm back, I have all my makeup on. I'm not really liking how my eyeshadow is today. Like I love the color, but I feel like it's way too intense. Currently, about 11.40 or just on there. So this foundation's been on for about maybe an hour or so now, a little bit over. Um, so far, so good. It's just nice, standard. It doesn't seem too different from the original HD foundation. Um, yeah, it looks nice. Like, obviously it doesn't look invisible. Like, it doesn't look like your skin. Like, obviously you're wearing foundation. It's pigment above the skin. It's going to look like you're wearing foundation. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, but everything went on nicely, bronzer went on nicely, it looked nice in a few selfies that I took. So overall, really, really impressed. Hasn't sunken into my expression lines, which is good. Um, hasn't sunken into my pores, which is good. Um, also, I don't think I mentioned, I have normal combination skin. So I'm normal on my cheeks and then I'm quite oily in the T-zone. And yes, this is natural lighting. The video so far has been all natural light. Okay guys, so I'm back for another update. It's currently, ooh, 10 minutes past three, so it's been a good few hours now. Um, this is now an artificial lighting because the lighting is just so awkward and dark. But so far, I am quite impressed with how the foundation is holding up. I am getting slightly shiny on my nose, but that's to be expected because I always get shiny on my nose. Um, I do notice that the foundation's rubbed off my blemish here. Um, but besides that, the foundation is looking quite nice. I do feel like I would. Personally, I'd like to blot now, um, just so I don't get as oily, because I am seeing some oil here as well. Um, but besides that, everything's still in place, and everything is still going quite strong. Um, yeah, so, so far so good. Color hasn't really changed too much. Um, coverage hasn't really faded, besides on my blemish. Um, but besides that, all seems good. So I guess I'll check back with you at the end of the night. <laughs> at all. It's like... Hi guys, welcome back. I am absolutely exhausted. It's not even that late. It's like 7.19, so not even that late. Let's be real right now, I am oily as all anything, like especially on my nose. So oily. Um, but to be fair though, if I don't powder with the standard HD foundation or even any foundation, I get oily, so that's nothing out of the ordinary, for me at least. Um, at least the foundation hasn't really broken down, that's kind of an indication that it's not a good foundation, but if it's just showing oil, um, either a blotting sheet or just a touch of powder normally fixes that right up. Um, on my forehead is a little bit oily, but that's also where I tend to get oily as well. My chin is starting to get oily also, basically just my T-zone is starting to get oily. Cheeks are normal, I never really have any issues with my cheeks, like all of it's still there, none of it's wiped away, like my bronze is still on quite good and all that kind of stuff, so thumbs up to it actually lasting. So I guess now the final question is, would I recommend this foundation to you guys? I think it's a nice foundation, I think it gives good coverage, and I think that it's really, really photogenic and honestly makes you look airbrushed and absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it's a good foundation. I would say definitely get a sample because this is definitely a pricey foundation, but it's also quite a nice foundation. I feel like this is going to be definitely one that I'll lean towards if I'm going to work or if I'm going out clubbing or if I know I'm going to take photos. Like, I feel like it's going to cover the whole spectrum. Um, bear in mind there is no SPF, so I do think that you'll need to put on some SPF in addition to just wearing foundation. I do recommend that with any foundation though, um, for every day, always wear an SPF. So I don't really mind that this doesn't have one. It lasted good, didn't start to break up and be all goopy and yuck, didn't emphasize my pores, didn't emphasize my lines, and it just kind of stayed in place, which is what I want. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to say. This foundation definitely gives me a big thumbs up, and I won't be running out and trying to find every single last bottle of the old formula, because I think, I feel like they're too similar to need to go to that drastic measure. Um, so yeah. I'm quite happy with the foundation. I'll be more than happy to purchase various other shades of this. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to say. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Comment down below some foundation reviews that you want to see from me next or first impressions that you want to see from me next. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.